When it comes to winning tournaments and qualifying to finals, every team has one thing in common. A super high kill W key game. And for the average player who doesn't have zero ping and 360 FPS, it's definitely super hard to drop 20 plus kill games every tourney. But today, I'm going to be breaking down some gameplay from some of the best players from every region. So you can learn how to fight and W key like a pro. Make sure you stay until the end because I saved the best W keyer and fighter for last. Before entering a fight, you're always going to look for that big entry damage. That's why a lot of pros hold snipers this season. Notice when he goes up to his opponent, he's holding his builds out in wood, just in case his opponent edits on him. When Polarized entered this fight, he made the mistake of swinging his pickaxe twice on his opponent's wall, which led to his opponent wide editing. Luckily, Polarized being smart enough, edited his cone, and got back out. By now, in Chapter 5, if you are a player who's trying to go pro, you should understand how to effectively use peace control to end fights quickly. But if you still aren't familiar, let me explain how Polarized was able to finish his fight quickly with some simple yet efficient peace control. After unsuccessfully trying to catch his opponent in the water, Polarized sees that this player is on a stair without anything above his head. So what he does is edit his wall, place a cone over his head, and then try to shoot at his stair and get a cone in his box. From there, he's able to sit back, edit his wall, and quickly eliminate his opponent. Something a lot of people may miss is this habit Polarize has while pressuring his opponent's stair when he plans to place a cone in their box. As you can see slowed down, Polarize has built the habit to claim his opponent's sidewalls so they can't edit out after he gets a cone in their box. It's a lot of super simple and easy things that can make you in fights quicker, but these are some things you just gotta have in the back of your mind while fighting. Upon entering this fight, you can see Polarize only swings his pickaxe once, making sure his opponent can't get any return damage. After he claims the wall, he sets up a really nice right hand peek. When his opponent was running away, Polarize made sure to stay on height the whole time and keep pressuring from above. After seeing there was a third party, Polarize blocked off all other angles, made sure it was safe, and then kept W keying the same guy. The main takeaway from this right here is when Polarize went to reload his gun, he made sure he built all around him so he couldn't get third party. This clip is exactly identical to the clip we just saw by Polarized. As you can see, Rezin gets the roof, sprays a stair, places a cone, and gets an easy kill. In this clip, Rezin fullboxes his opponent, leaving him nowhere to go, and quickly ending this fight. In this fight, Rezin's up against a pretty good player, so what he does is spray from the back, take really good peeks, and try to fullbox his opponent. He's always playing smart in these situations by reloading his gun often, always applying pressure, but not being open with it. So not making any wide edits or any dumb edits that can result in him being hit for 100 and having the fight back up on him. After making a really nice side jump, hitting the player for 100 and forcing the player to make a dumb move, he's able to pick up the kill. Raison does a very good job of being patient in fights and not speeding himself up. He's always waiting for his opponent to make a bad mistake and then capitalizing off that. He does a great job of expanding out and making more space and then engaging in a fight. Another thing really good about Raisin's gameplay is his crosshair placement. A lot of his edits after you see, he's able to end up on the opponent's head, dealing a lot of damage and being able to finish the fight super quick. The more we go on, the more similarities we can see. And in this clip, we can see Peterbot always applying pressure, and applying pressure from above when he does it. Although Peterbot's mechanics are super fast, he's still able to play super slow and play super smart. In a lot of these clips, we can see him holding his shotgun out and waiting for his opponent to make a bad edit. After his opponent does that and he hits his opponent for a lot, he's able to fully key him and jump into his box. Peterbot forces enemy into a really weird position by applying pressure from all different angles. After getting his kill stolen, he's able to push this guy and apply pressure in so many different ways that this guy just has no clue where Peterbot's going to be and he's not going to have time to heal up. Also, you can see Peterbot playing super smart, waiting for the opponent to make a mistake 
because he holds his shotgun out a lot, waiting for the pre-fire or the bad edit. And the last thing I want to talk about is pre-piecing. Pre-piecing is super common, and what it is, is just building builds around your opponent to gain extra piece control and hopefully predict where they're going to be. In this situation, Peter Bout went up, placed walls around his opponent, and once his opponent went up, he was able to full box him and get the kill easily. Pre-piecing is super helpful because it's always good to have a lot of builds of yours around your opponents. Playing fast, playing slow, knowing when to key, knowing not to key, these are all things you're going to learn from a lot of experience but hopefully this video can set you off on the right path. After seeing all this, I hope you can apply what I taught in this video and take it out into the real games and get better every day. Seriously, good luck to everyone on the journey to pro, and if you want to stay around for mine, stay tuned, subscribe, and like this video if you enjoyed.